remember you generate the sounds with your oscillators, you modify it with your filters, envelopes and LFOs. Here we have a second filter. So we're going to utilize two filters at once. Let's see how it sounds. Activate it. So we can apply a second filter if we want to. This is the overall level of the synthesizer. And this is the amplitude envelope. Amplitude envelope, attack the case of standard release, is a tremendous useful tool to actually shape the sound. For example, let's say that I take this sound, I really like it, but I want to have more of a percussive fill to it. In that case, we'll have a very short attack and decay, almost no sustain and definitely no release. By using the amplitude envelope now I can decide that I want more of a luscious, swishy type of sound, so let's have a slow attack quite a bit of decay and sustain and a longer release. If I even wanted more mysterious, I can have a slower attack. Not too bad. I like how it's sounding so far, I have to say. Now, here we have a filter envelope. This is an envelope that also has attack, decay, sustain, and release, but instead of controlling the amplitude or volume, it's going to control how the filter is applied to my oscillator's sound. Um, most of the times when you apply the filter envelope, you will obtain this kind of like swishy or sweeping sound that was very characteristic in the 80s. So let's trick the settings. And set some amount of envelope. Otherwise, it's the same that if I had it deactivated. I'm sure you can hear the way the filter is animated now. Let's try with a longer attack. Short decay. More amount. And of course, your filter settings are going to be related to whatever happens with the filter envelope. Now I change the frequency a little bit. Let's see how that affected the overall sound. So that's the filter envelope. I'm going to turn it off for now. Amount set to zero, it's off. Here we have a third envelope. This is a modulation envelope that you will be able to assign to the pitch of oscillator 1, the pitch of oscillator 2, the mix, the amount of mix of this knob between oscillators 1 and 2, FM amount, phase, or frequency of your second filter. So we're going to assign it to the pitch of oscillator 1 first. Let's hear before and after. Now the modulation envelope is off because the amount is set to zero. And let's set a little bit of amount. Do you hear the change of pitch? Especially in the beginning, I certainly do. With a slower attack,
Now let's try the same but affecting oscillator number two. Mix. FM. Nice! I didn't want a little bit more of that, so I'm going to have more sustain for it. Not bad at all.